Hey guys, Trust Ted here, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. I got another review for you today. Really interesting product. I have not seen anything like this. It's a Latuff charging adapter. What makes this adapter special is it works for level two and level three. And we're obviously gonna go through, we'll check out the product, we will do the installation, we'll see the functionality, the capabilities, then the uh, value, and we'll give it our final rating at the end. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. Let's get on with the review. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Latuff CCS1 plus J1772. So a little instruction here. This should be pretty straightforward. It says it works with both DC and with level two. So we'll try both of those. And a uh, nice package, pretty simple. And yep, this is if you're gonna DC or you flip it down and you just plug it into here. Um, and it also has the locking pin. So it feels good, it feels really solid. Um, and I have the actual Tesla one of this uh, but it's just for DC. I don't actually think it works for level two. I'm actually gonna give that a try. Uh, but anyway, obviously we'll do this both level two and DC. All right, I'm gonna just try a test because I've never done this. I do actually have the Tesla adapter. This is the DC uh, one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to plug it in all right, so I'm going to take the Tesla adapter, and I'm just going to try to plug it in with the CCS. Plug that in here. Well, it doesn't really, <clears throat> it doesn't, it, it fits, but it doesn't it seem to fit. Even when I push this little lever, <clears throat> it's not really making good contact. I'm going to just give it a try. I don't know if this is going to work. Hopefully there's no sparks. So I'm just curious to see if this will charge. I told it to start charging, but it's not. It's just, a, there's a, just a solid blue light. So it's, uh, it's, it's just not, there must be some communication issue. So we know the Tesla charger does not work uh, for level two. Um, I have used it for level three, so I do know it works for that. And now I'm just gonna, the charge cable here, plug this in. Oh yeah, fits in like a glove. And then I plug that in, the light is blue. So I'm getting the same as before. Still charging. And I think you just heard that little click and that was the actual charger engaging and my car is indeed charging. So I will just show you the green light right there. Okay, I'm going to try to charge here at work with this new adapter. It's not gonna be I'll see if I can show this to you. Okay, so I just plug that in here, plug it into the vehicle, and you can see the blue light flashing, and now it's green, so the car is charging, and it's starting to go. Okay, so uh, it's about a 90 degree day here. I'm gonna let this go for at least a couple hours, and then we'll check and see how it does, how it feels, or whatever. All right, so I've had my car charging for almost two hours. Let's see how the charger feels. Again, it's a 90 degree day today, super warm. And this is just actually just warm to the touch. So really, um, I have confidence in this thing. And I actually, uh, well, we're gonna try it out obviously on DC, but I think this is great. So I just wanna show you, let's pull the switch here and you can see the light turns white. Okay, I'm at a charge point DC charger. This is 125 kilowatt rated and it's getting 72.5. So that's good. Let's uh, see where it ends up peaking at because I'm at about 40% charge. It may not go much more than that. And there's actually the charger next to me is being used too. So it may not get more than 75. I did want to show you guys an issue that I had. I don't know if you can see it, but one of those pins is actually bent down a little bit. And I'm not sure if I did that by one of the times when I pulled it out or not, but I'm just gonna uh, get a screwdriver or a plier and just sort of readjust that. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is plug in, man, this CCS cable is so heavy. Uh, so this goes in, all right, it fits really good with the Latuff. 
plug that in. I figured I'd wait a few minutes at the station. It's only up to 51 kilowatts, which is really disappointing. The spec of the Latuf says it should support up to 250. So I'm gonna try another station. While I was charging in Electrify America, I was trying to help this BMW uh, vehicle. <laughs> they have two years of free charging, but of course they can't even get it going. Um, <laughs> I mean, I had a difficulty getting it going. It took me a couple of sessions, but anyway, the uh, kilowatt maximum number, I don't think it got any higher, still 83. I saw 84, yeah, that's the highest it's been. I mean, the good news is it works, but um, I can't tell if it's the station uh, or my vehicle. Uh, you know, again, the adapter says it can go up to 250. All right, let's wrap up the review for the La Tough J1772 CCS combo adapter. Um, for the product, I'm gonna give it a four. I had the small issue of one of those pins bending a little bit. Might've been my own fault with the hit weight of the cable. Um, from installation, I'm gonna give it a five. It actually clicks in really nice, whether you use the J172 or the bigger CCS cable. Um, so I think that that's uh, very straightforward. From a functionality, the fastest I could do was 84 kilowatts. It says it can do 250. Um, you know, again, if you're using it just for level two, it's a little bulkier, but I'm gonna give it a four. And then for the price value, it's $169. It does support both though, right? So it's $169 is actually less than the Tesla DC only charger. Um, and so obviously with Tesla charger, you gotta get both. So if you are looking for one that you can do both, you don't mind sort of the extra weight, uh, this is a really great alternative. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. So that's a final score of 17 and a half for the Latuf CCS J1772 combo. Again, trust Ted, Tesla owner, Silicon Valley. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and look for another review soon.